Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be making some Korean barbecue short ribs. Pick these up from the local Costco. If it's just you, they, do, they used to sell them and they were five pound blocks and you had to use the whole thing. So now you can buy them, they're separated in three and you can portion them out. We're going to cook the whole thing. So um, we're going to get these prepared in just a minute, but we're going to do a little bit of an experiment. We usually marinate it in this sauce here. So we're going to try some in that, and then we're going to make our own Calvi sauce, which is Korean barbecue sauce for the short ribs. So once we get our sauce made, we're going to prepare these. They're sliced already. Usually you don't ever rinse meat, but with these you have to because they were once frozen, then they sawed them, and then they packaged them. But when they package them, there's a little bits of pieces of bone and stuff in here. So you're going to have to rinse these under um, cold running water a couple of times to get all the bone fragments and everything off. We're going to get everything into the blender. We're going to make our own barbecue beef short rib sauce. I've already put the water in here. It calls for like a quarter cup of water. Um, this is mirin, which is rice cooking wine. We'll get that in there. We need a cup of brown sugar. We also need a cup of soy sauce. We need a couple of tablespoons of toasted sesame seed. I'm going to do about six cloves of garlic. I'm not going to chop them up. I'm just going to crush them a little bit, get them in there, help start the process along. The main reason we are doing this is the uh, one of the main ingredients you need to make the sauce at home is an Asian apple pear. You can use boss pear, and we've done that before, but I don't think it's as good as with the uh, Asian apple pear. So we'll get that peeled up too, get that in there. Also one small yellow onion. You're going to want to peel this. If you've never had an Asian apple peel, they are extremely good. It's not just for using in marinades, but they're nice, crunchy. They're different than a regular pear. You know, regular pears, when they're ready to eat, they can be a little bit mushy to me. So these are basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a, tastes like a pear, but eats like an apple. So we'll get this, let me hear that. cleaned up and then we'll get that processor going. Alright, we'll get this blended until it's smooth. Oh, <laughs> that smells amazing. Hmm. Alright, we'll get our beef ribs rinsed here and get them marinated. All right, we've now got our marinade all made. We'll give that a good stir before we pour it in there. There's still uh, little chunks and stuff on the top and it needs to separate. All right, so this is gonna be our bowl. We're gonna do the rinsing of the ribs in. Double-packed. 
So if you've never had Korean short ribs, so basically if you get a whole plate rib, your plate short ribs with the bone in that you do the dino ribs and stuff with. So this would be a four plate rib. You can see the bones four. So they basically just cut those and they're super good. They cook really quick and uh, very, very yummy. So we'll, but when they saw them, I don't know if you can see that, there's like little bits of bone and stuff that need to be rinsed off. So we'll get these all separated out. You can see that it's not, not very pleasant if you just put your marinade in there and then you go to eat these, they'll be kind of gritty. You don't really want that. But you'll have to run them under cold water several times to get get all that out. And I think some people say you can actually soak them for a while in the water. It does remove all this um, blood and stuff. Also makes it soak up the uh, marinade really well when you rinse all this stuff off. You do have to marinate these overnight. You could probably do it for 12 hours, but it's so much better when you do it overnight. Let's that marinade really get in there. All right, let me get this cleaned up and then we'll get those rinsed off and I'll See you guys once the ribs are all rinsed. All right, now we got those all rinsed off. They're, uh, like I said, a little bit less red. A little, not, I wouldn't say brownish, but they're uh, definitely a little bit different color. So let's get this open. I'm gonna marinate half of them in here, and then I'll probably just marinate the other half in this bowl. And this marinade is actually really, really good. And we get it at the Asian market here in Sarasota. It smells similar. Pour a little bit on the bottom. And there's our short rib. Make sure you get them all coated nicely. And these cook up super quick on direct heat front in the, on the big green egg. Literally a two or three minutes each side. All right, we'll put a cover on those, get those in the fridge. marinated here. This is enough marinade for five pounds and there's only a couple of pounds of ribs in here so Probably would keep in the fridge for, I don't know, four or five days, but other than that, I wouldn't, I don't think I would keep it any longer than that. All right, so we'll get a cover on this one. We'll get it in the fridge also, and then we'll see you back tomorrow when we get ready to cook these. So in this container is the homemade version, and that's the store-bought one. I know the store-bought one's good, but we'll see, do a little taste test, see which one's better. Back. 
sometimes only take like a couple minutes per side, so. Give this a little try. This is the homemade version. Mm. Oh, super, super tender. You can taste that soy sauce, garlic. Mm. All right. This one seems a little, oh, it's a little hotter. That is the store bought one. Hmm. Store bought one's a little bit saltier. Taste the soy sauce in it. Really good. Can't really go wrong either way. I think I do like the flavor better on the other one. But this, this is really good. All right, let me know what you think. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. The homemade version was definitely a winner. The store-bought one was very good also, a little bit saltier. So if you can find the Asian apple pear, I would definitely make the marinade yourself. Grab a beer, sit back, while I cook off the rest of these ribs for our Sunday dinner. Like always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Until next time.